The main story begins with this girl going wild at the bar, only to make a massive mistake, one that every romantic heroine seems to make. The next day, she wakes up to realize that the one-night stand is actually her blind date, she is co-wife to Et, whose long-term boyfriend betrayed her for someone else, and her wicked stepmother, driven by business interests, forces her into marriage. She thought her life had hit rock bottom, but she is not the kind of female lead to resign herself to being a weak, helpless white rabbit, Ko Waituet woke up to her stepmother's harsh scolding, being forced to visit the young master of the Luke family conglomerate. Without hesitation, Ko Waituet pushed her stepmother's hand away and confronted her directly. Surprising her stepmother who never expected her stepdaughter to stand up to her. Despite her stepmother's insults, Ko Waituet remained unfazed, grabbing a glass of water and splashing it directly onto her face, saying, You dare call yourself a mother? Next time, if you can't keep your mouth shut, it won't just be a glass of water. She was so fearless that even the butler standing beside her was taken aback. Who is the young master of the Luke Corporation? I'll go see who he really is. Upon arriving at the home of Luke's young master, as soon as she opened the door, she was embraced tightly by a man who pressed her against the table, asking, Does your waist hurt, my dear? She looked closely at his face, which was both intimidating and decisive in action. Ko Wai Tuet felt a sense of familiarity, slowly connecting this face with the perfect figure from last night. Oh my, fate has a sense of humor, why him? Is this some kind of joke? Despite screaming inside, it didn't affect the calm demeanor on her face. Were you planning to pretend not to recognize me? The darn face approached again. It's clear you were very enthusiastic last night. Ko Waituet grabbed Luke Lich Duong's tie, her seductive lips brushing against his ear. Why should I remember someone I feel nothing for? What's the quickest way to overpower a man? The girl realized that the blind date she was supposed to meet was the same person she had a one-night stand with. She leaned in close to his ear and said, I feel nothing. Lich Duong was stunned in place, unconsciously looking down. I just wanted to see how my stepmother would try to lure a man. Last night was a misunderstanding, Ko Wai Tuet said, then waved goodbye to him. You're already here, how could I let you escape? Lich Duong bent down and lifted her up. If I'm not mistaken, I must be your first, he said. Lich Duong, you don't need to prove anything, he didn't say anything clearly as he pressed his face closer, then skillfully pulled her shirt open. Who could resist? It's impossible to resist, he said. Bang! Luke Lich Duong and a bottle of wine had a physical interaction. Is this all Luke's young master can do? Find a few more people to practice with. Don't make yourself a laughing stock. Goodbye, boss Luke. I don't want to waste time with such a weak man, she said. Then she slammed the door and left, looking very cool, leaving Luke Lich Duong with a complex expression on his face. Watching her retreating figure, memories suddenly flooded back. It was a rainy evening when Ko Wai Tuet saved Luke Lich Duong, and since then, he couldn't forget her beautiful and kind face. She had healed his wounds for a long time. It's okay, in the end, you will belong to me. Ko Wai Tuet returned home, and the butler informed her that she had a visitor. Stepping into the living room, she froze in place, staring at the person without a word. It was her ex-boyfriend, Emo Thu Than. He spoke up first, why are you dressed like this? He stepped forward and draped his coat over Ko Waituet's shoulders. Ko Waituet looked at the despicable man pretending to be polite, remembering all the things he had done to her. She threw his coat away. I dare not wear your coat, I'm afraid of getting dirty, she said. How could there be such a despicable man in the world? He had just broken up with his girlfriend for selfish reasons and then he came to her house, pretending to be affectionate. Ko Wai Tuet saw through Emo Thiodent's true face. She threw his coat away. Are you married and still pretending to be affectionate with me? Or do you want me to help you remember how terrible our breakup was? One sentence made the cowardly man freeze in place, coincidentally, at that moment, Ta Jai Nin rushed in. She hugged Emo Thiodent's arm and began to chatter excitedly, but when she saw Ko Waituet standing not far away, she pretended to cover her mouth in shock. 
Oh, what happened to Y Tuet's clothes? Could it be that she just had a rendezvous with some street guy? How crude. That's hitting the nail on the head with just one glance, Ko Y Tuet muttered. Ta Jai Nin was the mayor's daughter and also Emo Thieu, that's newlywed wife. Ko Y Tuet stared at her intently, gritting out each word, crude? Being a homewrecker, stealing someone else's boyfriend, getting caught red-handed in bed, that's what I call crude, are you talking about yourself? Ta Jai Nin said, do you believe I can have someone come and detain you? Then she swung her arm to hit Y Tuet. Ko Y Tuet grabbed her hand and flung it aside. Lock me up? I'm a lawyer, I have to remind you. According to our country's criminal law, imprisoning someone unlawfully or depriving others of their freedom can result in up to three years in prison. If there's any violence involved, the punishment will be even more severe. Unable to argue back Ko Y Tuet, Ta Jai Nin began to taunt her, the Ko family is going bankrupt soon, so why don't you try seducing Luke Lich Duong? Everyone in this city knows that the Luke family invests in the banking sector. The Ko family's money is running out, Ko Y Tuet heard the familiar name again. Why do I keep seeing him everywhere? It seems like I need to have a polite conversation with him. Then she felt too embarrassed and angry, so she went to Luke Lich Duong's house. Just as he was about to go swimming, she caught sight of his eight-pack abs and was momentarily mesmerized. The guy smiled, couldn't wait to see me, huh? Before he could finish his sentence, a loud thump echoed. Is it you who's been pulling strings to prevent the Ko family from getting loans from the bank? Luke Lich Duong stroked his hair and gently reached out, I can tell you the reason why the Ko family was rejected by the bank. But you have to pull me to the shore first, he said. Looking at his large hand, Ko Y Tuet felt that something wasn't simple. After hesitating for a moment, she still extended her hand. As predicted, Ko Y Tuet was pulled into the water by him, this chubby man goes to karaoke alone. Hugging every woman he sees. Suddenly, a girl wearing high heels steps in front of him, it's Ko Y Tuet. She's dressed up, holding a glass of wine in her long slender fingers, her captivating eyes sparkling as she sits down on the sofa. Director Kim, let's have a drink together. Regarding the issue of borrowing money for me, could you kindly help me out? With this approach, no man could resist. Director Kim eagerly extends his sinful hands. Of course, it's fine. But how do you intend for me to repay you? Ko Y Tuet blinked her sparkling eyes innocently. Director Kim immediately hugged her tightly. Just serve me for one night, and I guarantee your loan repayment for your family can be sorted any time, he said. His hands started to roam, touching her chest. Seeing his filthy hands, Ko Y Tuet pushed him away with a steely glare. Two hours ago, Luke Lich Duong pulled Ko Y Tuet up from the water, having received a memorable lesson from her. He told Ko Y Tuet, because of your stepmother, no not Cam's actions are only driven by self-interest, without considering the dangers leading to the depletion of the Ko family's investment funds. They are losing more and more money every day, so it's not a matter of the bank refusing to lend to the Ko family. Ko's father, Ko Truong Hon, had to endure humiliation by kneeling and begging, but they were all driven out of the door. He looked earnestly into Ko Y Tuet's eyes. The bank isn't run by me, and I can't force all the banks to obey orders. Don't think I'm that influential. Obviously, it has nothing to do with you, so why are you meddling in our family's affairs? Ko Y Tuet asked back. What exactly is your role in this? The savior of the Ko family? He hugged Ko Y Tuet's waist affectionately and said, As long as you become my wife, everything concerning the Ko family will be taken care of. Ko Y Tuet pushed him away and slowly stood up. So this is your intention? I'm sorry to disappoint you, I have no intention of sacrificing myself for the family. If it's not related to you, then there's no need for you to worry about the rest. I will protect my mother's legacy on my own. Gathering her resolve, she took out her recording pen, which was the lifeline of the Ko family. Director Kim's eyes widened. Such dirty and cunning schemes aren't very admirable. This girl is pushed to extremes by her family's business dealings. Having to sacrifice herself to a fat man. 
Just moments ago, she seemed weak, allowing others to trample over her, but in the next moment, she pulls out her recording pen to threaten her opponent. Director Kim, a bank executive, has never encountered such a situation. Even now, he maintains a composed demeanor, teasing the girl, or maybe I'll release this recording online, so that the whole city knows the true face of Director Kim. I can easily ruin your reputation. Kim remains calm, remarking, you're quite strong-willed, aren't you? But I liked Miss Ko before. Are you sure you want to step out of this door? What do you mean? Ko Y. Tuet barely finished her sentence when she suddenly felt overwhelmingly drowsy. It's time for the medicine to take effect, Mr. Kim smirked maliciously. Ko Y. Tuet's mind felt heavy, realizing she had been trapped. She resorted to legal threats, Mr. Kim showed no fear, continuing with a smirk, the Kim family in city beholds considerable power. Playing around with a girl means nothing. Dare to set me up and see how I deal with you. He slowly approached as Ko Y. Tuet gritted her teeth, summoning all her strength to kick out. With a loud thud, she struck Mr. Kim right in a vulnerable spot, causing him to collapse in pain. Seizing the opportunity, Ko Y. Tuet, weakened but determined, hastily fled the scene, she trembled as she opened the door, her unstable body immediately falling into a sturdy chest. The man's displeasure was evident as he remarked, Mr. Kim, you've gone too far. Mr. Kim looked surprised at the unexpected guest. Ko Y. Tuet recognized the newcomer as Luke Lich Duong and couldn't hold back any longer, fainting right in his arms. You've crossed my limit. You are good, Director Kim, he said before embracing Ko Y. Tuet and carrying her away, leaving behind a trembling Mr. Kim with his grim-faced bodyguards. Soon after, cries of agony echoed from the room, resembling the squeals of a startled pig. In another room, Ko Y. Tuet slowly regained consciousness, gradually opening her eyes, feeling the familiar man lying on top of her, Ko Y. Tuet exclaimed in horror, Oh! Luke Lich Duong, what are you planning to do? In response, he sealed her lips with a passionate and domineering kiss, saying, Now I'll show you what consequences await when you seduce other men directly. The girl wanted to help her family company pay off its debts, so she seduced a fat man. But luckily she was saved in time by Luke Lich Duong. Luke Lich Duong appeared displeased, You lack the right move, don't you? The more he thought about it, the more furious he became. You like sacrificing yourself for others, don't you? Well, I'll grant you that wish, he said before giving Ko Y. Tuet a strong and domineering kiss. The air was filled with hormonal scent. Clearly, all you need to do is submit to me, and you won't have to do that, Luke Lich Duong said affectionately, looking at the resilient girl. It seems I've spoiled you too much. Sensing the intense waves on her body, Ko Y. Tuet whispered to herself, This isn't right. She pushed Luke Lich Duong away and grabbed a bottle of mineral water nearby, pouring it over her head. With the entire bottle emptied, she regained her senses. Luke Lich Duong stood beside her, looking coldly at her. While I still sober, need to run quickly. Ko Wai Tuet immediately pushed the door open and rushed outside, just in time to see her best friend, Lam Phi. What happened exactly, seeing Ko Wai Tuet looking disheveled all over? Lam Phi didn't seem amused either. Don't ask. Phi Phi, take me home first, Ko Y Tuet said, feeling embarrassed and flustered. Okay, let's go, Lam Phi agreed reluctantly. She's smarter than I thought, indeed she must have been prepared for this. When will Ko Y Tuet be able to trust me like that? Luke Lich Duong whispered to himself as he watched their departing figures. Then he turned to the bodyguard standing nearby. Send someone to follow them, make sure they get home safely. At Lam Phi's house, watching Ko Y Tuet gradually stabilize, Lam Phi expressed relief, thank goodness that lecherous guy only gave you a sedative. Otherwise, you would have been in real danger. After giving Ko Y Tuet a scolding, Lam Phi then became curious, how did you manage to get Luke Lich Duong to come? I heard that guy is flirtatious, but never gets involved with women seriously. The girl caught by his gaze ends up either heartbroken or deflowered, Ko Y Tuet hesitated, Fi Fi, don't overthink it. How could we be involved with him? 
Besides, I have more important matters to attend to now. Lamphi looked suspicious, and she continued, get in touch with Director Kim. I'm not planning to let him off the hook for today's incident, the fat man who yesterday planned to drug and assault the young woman showed up the next day wrapped in bandages to meet her. Seeing Director Kim wrapped up like a mummy, Ko Wai Tuet couldn't help but laugh. The interesting thing was that this fat man was still stubborn, if you don't treat me kindly today, I will make sure the whole Ko family can't hold their heads up high. Oh my god. Does Director Kim still remember this? Taking bribes, using company funds for personal gains, add the crime of raping women. Just these few things are enough to tarnish his reputation, Ko Wai Tuet waved her recording pen and laughed wickedly. Director Kim snatched the pen from her hand and crushed it. Ha ha, let's see what else you've got, he taunted. I still have plenty of pens left. If Director Kim isn't satisfied yet, I can give him a few more, replied Ko Wai Tuet confidently. Ko Wai Tuet, what does your want to do? The fat man began to soften. I want you to extend the repayment period for the Ko family's debt, she said. Bank loans aren't something I can just decide, he replied. Forget about telling anyone other than me. I also have evidence of you using implicit rules to harass many other girls. If this case is exposed, you won't just face personal ruin, Ko Wai Tuet was very confident, knowing that she had the situation under control, and Mr. Kim could only endure it. A week later, she had resolved the financial crisis, walking confidently down the street, coincidentally bumping into Luke Lich Duong strolling along. The financial crisis of the Ko family has been resolved. So there's no need for Luke to be a savior anymore. Goodbye and no promises of meeting again, she said before confidently turning and walking away, watching Ko Wai Tuet's figure recede into the distance, Luke Lich Duong silently whispered to himself, she has resolved the danger and exposed Mr. Kim. She truly has courage. What Luke Lich Duong desires, he won't let slip away. He slowly took out his phone, release information about the high-level management of the Ko family's conglomerate embezzling, tax evasion, and fleeing. The bigger the scandal, the better, he muttered, this time, I'll make her come to me, begging. When someone tries to threaten your loved one by jumping off a building, just confidently ignore them. Just tag your most hated friend, and they'll become the unlucky one to jump instead. Seeing the debtor's child standing on the rooftop, Lich Duong asked, Excuse me, who are you? Boss Luke gave me a chance to be his girlfriend. You'll definitely love me, the debtor's child said earnestly. Whether you jump or not is your business. I don't have time to play with you, a normal person would put on makeup before jumping off a building? Do you think we're stupid? The debtor's child was speechless. She felt uneasy continuing, actually, you love me too, don't you? There must be some personal agony you're dealing with. Take action, Luke Lich Duong ordered. Upon hearing Luke's command, the bodyguards immediately rushed to the girl's side and pressed her to the ground. Even though this attempt failed, as long as I have the opportunity, I'll bet my life on it. Just admit that you love me, she said, if you want to die, go ahead, why should I be in a relationship with a girl I don't even know? Hearing Luke Lich Duong say this, the girl felt like lightning had struck her. She blurted out angrily, Luke Lich Duong, you're despicable and treacherous. You won't have a good ending. I know all the details of your case. I'll send them to your competitor. I'll personally destroy you and your company. The girl, driven by love and hatred. Is this kid out of her mind? Ko Wai Tuet, standing beside her, scoffed. Why was Ko Wai Tuet here? It turned out that after resolving the issue for the Ko family, Ko Wai Tuet officially joined the top law firm in the city. She was enjoying her beautiful life when a colleague rushed in with news. The new intern is arguing with Luke Lich Duong on the rooftop. Luke Lich Duong insulted her, and she's about to jump off. They all hurried to the rooftop to witness the scene. When they arrived, Ko Wai Tuet, maintaining her composure, spoke up. Stop this. She then began to educate them about the law, saying, you've all studied law. Do you think causing such a commotion will have no consequences? The son of the debtor was horrified, 
and then Ko Wai Tuet was dragged down by Luke Lich Duong's bodyguards. Is this your new lawyer coming to your rescue? Luke Lich Duong hugged Ko Wai Tuet tightly and teased, or perhaps you're jealous, because you see a girl who likes me? The girl slowly approached the man and began to undress. The man simply smirked and looked at her. She slowly climbed onto him, her hands gently placed on his chest, the two gazing at each other, affectionately, time seeming to freeze in this moment. But the man then grasped Ko Wai Tuet's hand and pushed it away. I won't sleep with the same girl twice, unless I want to spend the rest of my life with her, he said, Luke Lich Duong said seriously, you should think carefully about whether you really want to be in bed with me, Luke Lich Duong, you're such a dog, Ko Wai Tuet replied, struggling to contain her frustration. Is our relationship limited to just being in bed? You don't need to take responsibility for me, just enjoy yourself tonight, turning away, Luke Lich Duong pressed Ko Wai Tuet onto the sofa. You must understand that I'm not looking for a bed partner, but a future Mrs. Luke. If you don't understand, you can put your clothes back on and leave, he said, tossing the clothes onto Ko Wai Tuet. Or until you've thought it through and come to find me, I've been very patient with you. Ko Wai Tuet fell into deep thought. It turned out that after resolving the suicide attempt incident, she received a call from her malicious stepmother, who was gradually spreading rumors about the company's leaders' embezzling and tax evasion. The police arrested Ko Wai Tuet's father right in front of the company. Ko's father had never experienced such humiliation in his life, his eyes were darkened, and now he was in the emergency room. The hospital reported a significant surgery cost, and Ko Wai Tuet had no choice but to seek loans from friends and relatives, only to receive rejections. She was pushed to a dead end, so she had to plead for help from Luke Lich Duong, but my father's condition is critical, Lich Duong. Can you? I've said it before, I have only one request, anything else is irrelevant. Because my father may compromise his dignity, but marriage is a lifetime commitment. Ko Wai Tuet, would you rather be my bed partner than be Mrs. Luke? If you try to persuade me now, I'll forgive you, Luke Lich Duong muttered angrily to himself, all right, I'll just go back and think of another way. Ko Wai Tuet stood up to leave when a sweet voice chimed in, Lich Duong. I made several calls to you, why didn't you pick up? No one could have guessed that beneath this innocent appearance, hid a venomous heart, this girl saw Ko Wai Tuet's disheveled clothes and immediately got angry. You're a cunning fox, shameless wherever you go. Seducing men all the way here, huh? Let go, are you nervous? Ko Wai Tuet pushed her hand away. You dare to push me? Lu On's face was fierce. Hey, you just arrived and can't tell right from wrong. Have the guts to insult me to my face. Ko Wai Tuet refused to back down. Step back if you have nerve issues, go get treatment. Don't come to someone else's doorstep causing trouble, the other girl grabbed Ko Wai Tuet's hand. You can't leave. You're bullying me, huh? Let me show you how to behave, what's all the fuss about? Lich Duong yelled, putting an end to the argument between the two girls. Lu On immediately changed her attitude, Lich Duong, you have to explain clearly to me. Why is this girl here? Do I need to report my personal matters to you? Use just a business partner's daughter, Lich Duong's face darkened, and Lu On remained silent, unable to utter a word. If there's nothing else, you can leave now. I don't like people who just come to my house, he said sternly then turned gently to Ko Wai Tuet, let's go, Wai Tuet, I'll take you home. Watching their figures leave, Lu On felt uneasy. Don't be too happy too soon, you cunning woman, she muttered under her breath. Lich Duong only fools around with her. I'm his childhood sweetheart, we've known each other for over twenty years. You can't steal him from me, some people get married after knowing each other for less than a day, while others spend their whole lives together in vain. It's not that you're unlucky, it's that he doesn't like you, Ko Wai Tuet retorted, Luke Lich Duong also showed his respect by reaching out to embrace Ko Wai Tuet. Since I met you, I've only liked you, he said tenderly as they held each other. Seeing them cling to each other, Lu On trembled with anger. How dare you act so gently towards her, Ko Wai Tuet. I won't let you have peace, a malicious plan began to form in her mind. 
A few days later, when Ko Wai Tuet planned to visit the hospital to see her father, she was suddenly struck unconscious from behind. When she woke up, she found herself bound hand and foot, trapped in a dark room. Still dazed, she couldn't understand why she had been kidnapped. Then, mocking laughter echoed around her, You deceitful wretch, I thought you were so capable, but you're just a failure from the Ko family. Never had she encountered such ruthlessness, just because she liked the person Ko Wai Tuet admired, this girl had kidnapped and planned to sell her into prostitution. You despicable creature. How dare you talk back? Let me see how you stole Lich Duong from me, she tightened her grip on Ko Wai Tuet's jaw. Ko Wai Tuet chuckled softly, Luon, I was wrong. I won't compete with Luke Lich Duong anymore. Please let me go. Ko Wai Tuet appeared weak. Let you go? Dream on. Do you know where you are? This is the headquarters of the Hak Sam Lam gang, the largest entertainment hub in the city B, she sneered, Ko Wai Tuet was horrified. She's indeed the kind of woman with a venomous heart, she thought. What are you planning to do, she asked nervously. You like seducing men, don't you? I'll make you work as a prostitute here, for the rest of your life. Nobody cares who you are here. They just want to have relations with you over and over again until you die, Luon threatened. It seemed she wouldn't easily let Ko Wai Tuet go. Ko Wai Tuet began to negotiate, Luon, Luke and I slept together for the second time yesterday. I just touched his finger, and he rushed to me. At this point, Luon immediately erupted, slapping Ko Wai Tuet's face, causing it to turn aside. You wretch. I knew you were seducing Lich Duong, she accused angrily. You've seen Luke Lich Duong's attitude towards me. Don't you want to know what I did to captivate him? Ko Wai Tuet endured the pain and continued speaking. Luon felt excited. Quickly, tell me. Otherwise, I'll call someone to beat you up right away, she threatened. It's simple, just give me the phone, Ko Wai Tuet replied calmly trying to buy time to come up with a plan to save herself. Suspiciously, Luon handed her the phone, don't play tricks on me. Meanwhile, Ko Wai Tuet was racking her brains for any possible solutions. Just then, Luke Lich Duong called. Ko Wai Tuet was surprised, but quickly answered the call. Give me the phone, Luon snatched it back. Hello, Wai Tuet, what's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? Answer me, I'm giving you a chance. If you dare to blabber, I'll call someone to deal with you immediately. Lu On threatened. Oh, here I am, Ko Wai Tuet said calmly. Why didn't you say anything just now? Luke Lich Duong questioned. I was busy earlier, but now I'm free, Ko Wai Tuet replied. Have you considered my offer? Ko Wai Tuet thought quickly in her difficult situation. Yes, my love, when will I become Mrs. Luke? I don't care, but you Lu, won't be able to wait, she replied cunningly, hearing this, Lu On hastily pressed the end call button. Meanwhile, at Luke Lich Duong's home, he looked at the phone with a pensive expression. Mrs. Luke, it's Lu On. Something's not right, he said. Immediately check the location of Ko Wai Tuet's phone for me, even if we have to turn this entire city be upside down. He said. We must find her, Luke Lich Duong insisted. Suddenly, there was a loud noise as Ko Wai Tuet's nose started bleeding from the blow. Mrs. Luke, do you still want to be Mrs. Luke? It's all because of your own actions. Look at this, she just slapped me. I want to see how long you can pretend to be innocent, Luon taunted. What? Ko Wai Tuet exclaimed in horror. The girl was pushed to the ground by two men, desperation evident in her eyes. The filthy hands of one of the men began to grope her. Get off me, she screamed, summoning unknown strength, to slap the man's face. How dare you hit me, the man yelled, clutching his swollen face. Are you still acting? Let me teach you a lesson. He threatened. Could tonight be the night I'm, she wondered in fear. Just as Ko Wai Tuet was resigning herself to her fate, the large door was forcefully kicked open from outside. 
Seeing Ko Wai Tuet lying on the ground in her disheveled clothes, Luke Lich Duong flew into a rage. He rushed over to her, embracing her tightly. I'm sorry, he said urgently. The bodyguards immediately subdued everyone involved. I'm fine here, let's go home, Luke Lich Duong reassured she. Looking at the man in front of her, she finally breathed a sigh of relief. At last, you're here, she whispered. Why haven't I heard Ko Wai Tuet screaming for help yet? Can't you handle even a trivial matter? Lu On's voice boomed as she entered. Daring to kidnap my girl right in front of me, Lu On, you've got some nerve, she continued boldly. Luke Lich Duong stared at her intently. Luke Lich Duong, I. I didn't. She stuttered, attempting to explain. But Luke Lich Duong cut her off, I don't need to know the reason. Ko Wai Tuet belongs to me. If you dare to touch her, you'll pay the price, Luke Lich Duong, don't forget that my father is a shareholder in the corporation. If you dare to touch me, he won't let you off the hook, Lu On warned, flipping her attitude once again. Just a petty shareholder. I couldn't care less. You should consider yourself lucky. Because I don't play dirty tricks like you, from now on, you'll be living in a mental institution, he replied coldly. What? I don't want that. Luke Lich Duong, I was wrong, Luke Lich Duong didn't care about Luong's continued rambling. He lifted Ko Wai Tuet up, holding her close. From now on, I won't let anyone hurt you anymore, he vowed silently to himself. Tu Tuet, a gentle voice called out. Mom, is that you? Ko Wai Tuet asked weakly. Tu Tuet, my daughter, her mother replied. Mom, why did you come to find me? My mother always taught me to be strong and courageous. I'm sorry, Mom, I can't hold on anymore. Tu Tuet is about to find her mother, Ko Wai Tuet said with remorse. Wai Tuet, Ko Wai Tuet, the girl was awakened from her dream by someone. Opening her eyes, she saw the familiar handsome face. Are I in the hospital, Ko Wai Tuet woke up groggily and, seeing the man in front of her, she forcefully pushed him away. Get out, don't touch me, she said sternly. The nurse helped me change clothes. You don't stand a chance, is it because of you that I encountered this disaster? As she spoke, Ko Wai Tuet remembered that her father was still in the hospital. She tried to get out of bed. But as she stepped down, she twisted her ankle and fell to the ground. Quickly, Luke Lich Duong caught her and held her close. Luke, you still haven't stayed away from me? I'm afraid those people will chase me again and attack me, ignoring her sarcasm, Luke Lich Duong continued to carry her like a princess. I'll take you to visit your father. You still have wounds on your body, and the doctor said you need rest. I promise that this won't happen again in the future. Ko Wai Tuet couldn't believe his sincerity. Does he want to apologize to me? She wondered. Mr. Luke, it's best if you just be honest. Ko Wai Tuet smiled, and as they exited the hospital room, Luke Lich Duong looked at her with concern and gently said, the surgery this time was performed by a renowned professor in the country. It was very successful, so don't worry. Are you paying for my father's medical expenses? She asked. If not, then who? Perhaps it's your ex-boyfriend who's already married, he teased. What do you mean, realizing that there was a hidden meaning behind Luke Lich Duong's words? Just figure it out yourself, he replied cryptically, she checked her phone and saw a message from her ex-boyfriend, which instantly fueled her anger. He was planning to deceive me into bed and still has the audacity to say these things. He's shameless, she muttered, blocking his number immediately. You're quite decisive, aren't you? Luke Lich Duong joked. You don't need to like me, I care deeply for you, he continued. Then, he embraced Ko Wai Tuet and spoke frankly, all men are alike, all right, we've finished visiting your father. Shall we go see the newlywed house now? Luke Lich Duong asked. Looking into his eyes and recalling all the things he had done for her over the years, Ko Wai Tuet fell into contemplation. Luke Lich Duong seems quite trustworthy too. He helped pay for my father's medical bills, taught Kim the director a lesson, and rescued me from Luong, she thought. 
her tightly closed heart gradually began to open. I will marry him, she decided. He had been her secret crush for a long time. Suddenly agreeing to marry you, how would you feel? Luke Lich Duong exclaimed, Really? You agree to marry me? I wonder if you've ever heard of a marriage of convenience, Ko Wai Tuet replied. It means just in name, not in reality. So Luke Lich Duong's excitement faded. He pressed her against the wall and asked, Have you forgotten, Ko Wai Tuet, that I am a man of abundant vitality? It seems I'll have to remind you of what happened that evening, as she saw him slowly approaching, Ko Wai Tuet felt embarrassed. Luke Lich Duong, are you crazy? This is a hospital, she said. The scene caught the attention of passing doctors and nurses, making her feel like she was being surrounded like a monkey. Ko Wai Tuet just wanted to dig a hole and hide in it. Overwhelmed with embarrassment, she vented all her anger on Luke Lich Duong. In a luxurious mansion, the enthusiastic staff member was showcasing the house to them. Noticing her constantly glancing at her left cheek, Luke Lich Duong expressed, I've never forgotten this. He took the initiative to introduce the house to Ko Wai Tuet, saying, Compared to the villa in the Western Garden, this house is just a bit smaller. What do you think? A house that's 500 square meters being called small. Indeed, investing in extravagance, she calmly remarked, but whether big or small, it's just a house. Hearing her words, Luke Lich Duong fell into contemplation. Thinking of his ex-girlfriend, who always preferred the biggest and fanciest of everything, at this moment, he felt the girl in front of him was truly gentle and kind. Unable to resist, he gently stroked her cheek. Easy now. Read it carefully. This is a prenuptial agreement I prepared. She said, despite Ko Wai Tuet's icy demeanor, he still held her close. No need to rush. We still have time to discuss it slowly, he reassured her. During dinner, Ko Wai Tuet couldn't resist her curiosity any longer. I'm really curious. You're not like other people. They fall in love after one night. Why do you keep clinging to me? she asked. Of course, because you're irresistible, he replied. Do you think saying that will make me believe you? At that moment, a voice devoid of any goodwill echoed, Boss Luke, what a coincidence. Are you guys also dining here? A young couple approached their table, knowing that Luke Lich Duong was about to get married. The girl exclaimed in surprise, Luke Lich Duong, are you getting married? Is this related to Miss Tadone? Who is this? The bride? Ta Don saw Ko Wai Tuet slowly approaching and deliberately bumped into a glass of wine, spilling it all over Ko Wai Tuet. Luke Lich Duong, witnessing this, only wanted to punch Ta Don. She hurriedly ran over, pretending to be polite, apologizing, I never expected Luke Lich Duong, who never gets involved with women, to be captivated by you, this scene was all too familiar for Ko Wai Tuet. While washing her dress in the restroom, she fell into contemplation. Tadong clearly did that on purpose. What's the relationship between her and Luke Lich Duong? At that moment, Tadong also walked in, her Chanel and Five fragrance wafting, gently, like a breeze. However, Ko Wai Tuet didn't like this perfume. Hee <laughs> hee, are you feeling jealous? If you want to stay with him for the long term, there's only one way, make a copy of me, Ko Wai Tuet said, looking at her with interest. The main wife making a copy of the homewrecker, how strange, she replied. Did you not notice earlier? Your face does resemble mine, quite a bit. No wonder you could be with Luke Lich Duong, she added, then reached out to stroke Ko Wai Tuet's cheek. Have you finished talking, my dear? Mimic you? Mimic you only to end up being cast aside? You're nothing more than a forgotten ex-girlfriend, you must understand that I am the wife of the man you dreamed of, she retorted. Tadon wasn't angry. He brought you in front of me just to make me jealous, she said, upon hearing this, Ko Wai Tuet immediately knocked down her thick-faced opponent. H how about when we hold the wedding ceremony, you all come as witnesses. Of course, the condition is that before that, Luke Lich Duong doesn't forget to invite you. Ta Don angrily grabbed Ko Wai Tuet's dress, but Ko Wai Tuet quickly caught her hand. What are you trying to do? 
When a girl gets angry, don't ask who her father is. The girl intended to pull down Ko Wai to its dress but was caught, so she quickly changed her demeanor. Why so scared? I just wanted to help you fix your dress, she said, flipping her face. Seeing her calm expression, but also thinking about the potential consequences, Ko Wai Tuet fell into contemplation. This girl is not simple. Back in the dining room, neither of them mentioned what had just happened. Luke Lich Duong astutely noticed that something was amiss. Why aren't you happy, Wai Tuet? Let's go shopping later, Luke Lich Duong suggested. No need, boss Luke. You've already been too generous. I can't accept, who else in this world, besides me, can be by your side? Luke Lich Duong retorted, his tone sharp, Ko Wai Tuet withdrew her hand, surprised to see the girl on the other side lost in thought. In Ta Don's heart, she began to appraise Ko Wai Tuet in a higher light. Then, she approached the two of them. I was planning to apologize to Mrs. Luke for my rudeness. Unexpectedly, we seem to have very similar tastes in conversation. It would be great if we could still keep in touch in the future, she said. I don't think it's necessary for us to keep in touch. Ko Wai Tuet replied without any hesitation. Mrs. Luke, you, Miss Tadone, are you a slave? Is there only one word in your heart, Luke? Ko Wai Tuet, couldn't help but suspect. What do you mean? Do you still remember Luke Lich Duong, how could that be? We've already broken up. Mr. Luke is just my ex-boyfriend, Ta Don, quickly defended herself. Seeing the look in Ko Wai Tuet's eyes, Luke Lich Duong also felt awkward and said, having feelings for someone qualifies them as an ex-girlfriend. Otherwise, they're just passing acquaintances.